Hey, what's going on guys? TV Cools here. And today I wanted to talk about something that has been an issue and it's been ongoing pretty much since the beginning of Season 5. Um, I'm currently not recording on my Switch just because of how bad the performance is. Especially docked mode, it's just horrendous. Um, I'm only on playground mode. I just wanted to show a video on some tips on where to go to avoid all of these horrible lag spikes and frame rate drops and marshmallow textures that are on the Switch. So pretty much anywhere, I mean anywhere with high traffic, you know, for instance, Tilted Towers, Paradise Palms, uh, sometimes Lazy Links depending on where the uh, battle bus drops, um, every now and then Pleasant Park, or usually not Dusty Divot. Those areas, since they have such a high rate of, pr did they add the jetpack back in? Or is it just for playground? Um, such just such a high rate of texture loading and rendering for instance uh, for like uh, whatever tower you guys want to call this if you want to call this Trump Tower or Castle um, this building for sure when dropping in on the switch usually it's a, just a huge box Minecraft marshmallow texture and it looks horrendous and that's not even the worst part depending on how many people there are around here how many sprites that have to be loaded it can be even worse we can be seeing 60 frames here right of course on the xbox we can be si seeing 60 frames but uh... you know on the switch it's usually 30 or less and tilted doesn't do much above 24 i'd say um... at max and that's really pathetic because Look at look at the mobile version, guys. On iOS, it runs even better than the Switch version. It's just, it just hasn't had any good optimization in any way, shape, or form, and it's really sad, you know, because they could easily fix that. Um, and they don't. So, like I said, uh, other than trying to find points of interest that are quieter, um, I would try to avoid, you know, tilted. Paradise Palms, Pleasant Park, anything I guess it starts with P or T pretty much. Um, and then I would also try to avoid playing it docked. It is not optimized at all for docked mode. And it's really disheartening and sad to say that. Um, for the most part they seem to take care of their game. Not really. Um, I'm just going to blandly say that they really don't take that much care of this game for 800 people that are at epic games and i don't even know how many that are at blue hole is it blue hole no that's no never mind that's pubg um that are at uh, but uh, tencent that are working on the mobile versions heck i don't know if they're working on the switch version as well um tencent could be but my guess is their sh focus is you know more towards uh is more shifted towards um, Android because it hasn't been released yet. Uh, there's also been rumors on that that it is going to be a 30-day, I believe, exclusive for the Galaxy Note 9 or Galaxy um, some sort of Galaxy phone. I don't know if that's true or not. That would really suck if it was. But um, I mean, I feel terrible. But um, so for the next while of the video I'm actually gonna switch it over to some switch gameplay um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about and uh, I'll do a couple comparisons of uh, you know dropping in you already just saw me drop in tilted so we all know that's pretty fine um, I don't know if I'm capturing 60 frames on my uh, capture I believe I am but obviously on the switch I'm, I can set it at 30 and it doesn't go higher than 30 so uh, I'll just show you some horrible looking places that happen in, you know, on Fortnite on the Switch and it has so much potential and they haven't really taken the time to care about it, you know. So until they take their time to care about a game like this, that's this massively and wildly successful, I just don't see a point in playing it, especially on the Switch. You know, and I have like 20 friends on the Switch that I can play Fortnite with easily. But I decided, you know, hey, I can play crossplay with them on the Xbox. Haha, ha, Sony. I didn't say that. Um, I can play with them on that, you know. And uh, 
and it works almost just perfectly. The only problem with it is when you do crossplay between the Xbox and the Switch, is the ping. Usually the ping is around 300, and that's not even exaggerating. It's really sad. Um, I think they need to put uh, better dedicated servers towards it. Let's see if we can make up this hill. Oi. Um, and if they would, you know, they put more dedication towards it. It has such a massive, it just, it's just a massive potential that they have, and they're throwing it out of the window, and they're throwing it straight into the trash, and it just makes no sense. You know, it's just, it's really sad. Um, but other than that, I'm going to switch over right now to some Switch gameplay, uh, so we can take a look at, you know, what's bad and what's not, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this little portion of me ranting about it and explaining what to avoid. Um, but uh, even with Paradise Palms, one more thing before I switch over, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, Paradise Palms, we got to talk about that. With the Switch version, I don't know how Epic hasn't noticed this, but for some weirdly stupid reason, the mountains will render before any of the buildings even if per se you land uh, over at the edge of paradise palms these buildings back here these these mountains will render even before this house does and I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to work it doesn't look good and it doesn't make sense so uh, if that gets fixed it'll be a happy day and I'll feel better about myself but they really need to work on the Switch version. Um, is it playable? I think it's playable in handheld docked mode. I don't really think much so. It just looks horrible in docked mode. And the... I mean, sure, they've made a lot of, of improvements towards the Unreal Engine and everything for the Switch. But when you, when you add something and you make something better... There's more than just, oh, we added this to where there's volumetric lighting on the Switch, or the lighting and shadowing looks much better. You gotta make sure the performance is there, you know? And there's no performance there whatsoever. They, they have totally ignored that, and that's the whole problem with this, guys. So, uh, well, alright, without me ranting anymore, we're gonna go over to the Switch version. Hope you guys enjoyed the rant portion of this, uh, Switch version. All right, now we're to part two of this incredible. I, I'm. I mean, I'm obviously kidding, guys. It's still on the same video, but um, right now we're actually on the Switch version now. Um, as you can tell, uh, for the most part, there's not really any problems with the UI or anything with you know this area right here before you start into a game. Um, just that you know career's missing. That's annoying. Very annoying. Um, that's why if I play with my friends on Switch, I will be on Xbox. <laughs> um, we're just going to go into some squad playground on Don't Fill, of course, because I don't want anyone else in the game, just to show you what I mean by these textures. So we're not going to have any bias towards this. We're going to have the same exact experiment as we just did on the Xbox version. Um, and yes, that was on the 1X, but it was still in 1080p because... I have, uh, you know, a screen recorder that only goes to 1080p. Um, right now, obviously, the Switch is docked mode. If you can't see, um, I can at least see the, uh, at least, just the sharpness and everything. The resolution percentage is probably at like 70 or 60, even less. I don't even know, guys. But uh, we're going to drop in Tilted. And I'm going to give you my reasoning as to why, and you'll see, obviously, why it looks horrible. Uh, oh my goodness, we got to jump, guys. There's going to be guys coming in right now. Alright, guys, what is up? I just found out that I'm ready to play on the Switch. I'm done with the PlayStation. I don't think I'm going to do Call of Duty anymore. I'm just kidding, guys. As you can see, guys, look at those lovely, beautiful, amazing marshmallow textures. Now, see how they load in, right? See how they're rendered? Right now, we're at around <laughs> 15 frames. Now, we're about at uh, we're about around 22-ish. Um, yeah, it's just... Look at that. Oh, my God, dude. I'm not even doing anything, guys. Look at that. There, we don't even have sprites in here from other players to render. 
I'm just going to run in circles so you guys can see this frame rate drop. This is docked mode. Keep that in mind, guys. Um, I can't really screen capture handheld mode. I have to have a special adapter for that, and I do not have that. Um, but you can just see what I mean by the render. It's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, the only thing I really do like about this version is the HD rumble, because it does have different vibrations for everything. Um, and it's awesome. Look at that frame rate, guys. Just look at that. It's horrible. I don't... And if you guys are wondering, I don't know if my capture card is going to up what it looks like or it's going to drop what it looks like, uh, what I'm playing. I have no idea. Um, but it just tilts. It's horrible. It's a horrible place to go on the Switch. If you can deal with 20 frames and sometimes under, go for it. That's all I can tell you. But, um, yeah, that's it's just ugly. Don't get me started on the golf carts, guys. That's what we're gonna go find right now is a golf cart. There should be one over here somewhere now. Oh shit. I kill I kill myself. <laughs> um Oh actually no, I should kill myself. That's a good idea. Okay guys, don't actually kill yourself in real life. I'm talking about this game of course, because we are on playground mode. I do not condone suicide in any way, shape, or form. You're welcome. Oh my goodness, look at that lovely frame rate drop. I'm not doing anything. We're s there we go, finally we spawned in. Okay, see what I mean by this performance issue? It's just horrible. There's absolutely no reason for this. Um, let's go over to Lazy Links, and we can go get one of those golf carts. And I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's just, oh my gosh. There's so, much, so many fixes. I can go into technical aspect right now and tell you guys how they can fix this first of all they're having issues with ren what to render so far a lot of the um, aspects to the land such as hills mountains um, lakes rivers uh, streams they shouldn't render before anything else that's ahead of it and that's the problem in this game right now on the switch um, there's a lot of things rendering before where you're at you know so Let's go on to the golf cart. So we can see uh, how much how much it just dropped. But not by frame rate. Obviously that's already there. But by um, aspect um, and resolution percentage. You can see how less the grass is uh, spawning in. Which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. That's a good thing. That should be how it should be loading in when you're running. Now if I get off of this cart... Look how much grass has already spawned in. See, the grass percentage is horrible. For the mobile version, it's probably it's around probably cut in half for the most part, and that's what it needs to be on the switch. So as you can see, the grass on the horizon slowly spawning in. I'll hover over where it hasn't spawned, for instance. But um, see, that that can be that can be tamped with just a little bit to fix it. Um. Uh, what else can we go into here? Um, Dusty isn't too bad for lagging, surprisingly. Like I said, Paradise, don't even, Paradise is worse than Tilted, guys. It really is, and it's just sad. It's just so sad to see this. You know, I was so thrilled that I heard about a leak of this going to be announced at E3, and it was. But <laughs> was it the leaked version I wanted? Partially yes, and partially no. Um, I was excited to hear the HD Rumble feature, um, that parties weren't using the Nintendo app. Nintendo, please fix that. It's, I understand why you have it in, in, um, on an app and not through Switch is because of uh, RAM, number one. And number two, RAM. And uh, number three, they didn't really build anything into the Switch. And if they don't have any allocation for RAM besides their games... It's never going to happen, you know? And for games like Fortnite, where the chat is already put into the game, so it's using RAM from the game towards the chat, that works perfect. And that was a lot of the reasons um, and how the reasons for the Wii worked as well. Um, see, you can guys can already see the mountains back there. The two mountains, we got one at the 140, and then we also got one at 160, 155. Those are all loaded, right? The, look at the hotel. It hasn't even rendered yet. Hasn't loaded at all. 
it's still a freaking marshmallow, right? It's it finally loaded, right? <clears throat> now, I don't know why background images are loading before the front. Like, look at that. How am I supposed to find someone in that house over there when the house hasn't even rendered? Look, see, we're still running, guys. It hasn't rendered yet. Watch how close we have to get for this to render, and watch how ugly it renders. Oh my gosh, it hasn't even rendered. Wow, I'd be darned Epic Games. You're doing a great job. Wow, oh my goodness. Dude, this is exciting. Look at this. I don't think we'd have any issues like this on the Xbox. Do you? I don't think so. Let's try to build something. Ooh. Man, look at Paradise Palms, guys. Perfectly rendered on the Nintendo Switch. As you can see. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Here's the lag spike. We got it. Oh, here, here. Ready? Ready for the moment of truth? Oh, my gosh, guys. It only took about 30 seconds for the whole entire thing to render. What an amazing concept. See, this is what they need to fix, guys. It's just... Ugh. Disgust. I don't even know what to say. 800 people working on this game, and you can't even get the Switch version to run in any way, shape, or form? Come on. Like, look, look at some of these graphics, like Mega Man, how it pushed on the uh, SNES. It ran way better than this. Game. And this is 2018, for God's sakes. That's, that's freaking 26 years later. 26. 26 years later. Really? Really. That's horrible. So, like I said, guys. Look, and it finally renders before I... Even after I left, the city still rendered. And it shouldn't be rendered like this. I, it just doesn't make any sense, guys. Um, I hope this helped you guys a lot. And I <clears throat> hope you understand. Don't go to Paradise Palms on the Switch. Or Tilted, at least. Those two are the worst places. Um, until they are fixed. And I suggest hitting this little plus button right here on your Switch controller. Um, then I suggest hitting the feedback button, right? Subject. Game. Type in like game issues or something. I hit the wrong button. God dang it. <clears throat> Bad. Ugh. X and Y and B and A are switched, and I freaking play the Xbox and Switch too much. It confuses me. Um, so, so for instance, you could put like uh, frame. You can put frame rate problem. God dang it, guys! This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to pull my Switch out of dock mode. Uh, frame rate issues and uh, rendering issues. On docked mode in Paradise Palms and Tilted Towers. That's pretty much what I did. That's all I said. Just takes forever to type. Um, it's just I don't know. It's horrible to see that how this works. But uh, yeah, this video is gonna be really long. I apologize for that. Um, but I hope this makes sense to you guys and it teaches you uh, you know what to stay away from and how to have a better performance on the Switch. You know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. CP Cools is out. See you. Okay, I have one health. This was trying to be an outro, guys, and I lived. This is horrible. YOLO. Bam. See you later, guys.